Today I'm going to show you guys how to use the Tusk Thread Repair Kit. Now we've got some stripped out threads on the cylinder head and we want to try to make this work and reuse it. So if you or your friends have stripped out hardware on your motorcycle, ATV or side by side, the Tusk Thread Repair Kit has got you covered. Now this is metric and it has the common sizes that are going to cover 99% of any stripped out threads. So this is the M5 to M12 kit and it comes with 25 thread inserts for the three smaller sizes and then 10 inserts for the two bigger sizes. And if you need replacement inserts or if you wanna buy individual sizes, you can do that on our website as well. So be aware of that. But again, this is the metric kit and it comes with the necessary drill bit, the tap, you've got the installer tool and even a punch to hit out the end of that thread insert once you're done. Now, anytime you're repairing threads, make sure you have easy access to that area. So sometimes that means removing covers or even removing a part and bringing it over to the bench. So with that being said, first thing you wanna do is find out what size of fastener that you have. So we've got these digi digital calipers right here. I'm gonna zero these. So I've got an M6 bolt right here six millimeters in diameter. And then I have a thread pitch gauge so you can have standard or metric fasteners. Most machines are gonna be metric, but there's a few out there that are standard. So just find out what you're working on. Again, this is a metric kit. So this is a 1.0 thread pitch. This is one of the most common fasteners you're gonna find on any power sports vehicle. So with this, now we know which thread insert we're gonna use. The kit comes with everything you need to get this installed. So we're gonna use our drill bit first. We're gonna use a little bit of oil on this. I'm gonna put that in my drill. Got my safety glasses. Just use a little oil on there. Or a lot of oil. And you wanna make sure you drill that out straight. And I'm gonna to try to keep some of these shavings from getting everywhere else too. So I'm gonna cover that up. And before I go too far, I wanna measure how deep this needs to be. So I'm gonna be right there, just using a pick to measure that. And I'm gonna use a piece of masking tape on this drill bit. That way I don't go too deep. And you wanna make sure you drill that out straight. So if you had a drill press, ideally with the cylinder head, that's what you're gonna to wanna to do. But for us, we're just drill, drilling straight down. Make sure we're squared up. Okay, so we've got that drilled out. I'm gonna clean it out with some contact cleaner. So with that cleaned out, covering this back up, and then I'm gonna use this tap for the thread insert. Now this is not the same as a tap that you're gonna find in a regular tap and die kit. It's a different size specifically for the insert. So we have this tap driver that we're gonna be using, but if you don't have one of these, you can use a crescent wrench. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna turn this in a half turn at a time then back it off a quarter turn, go half turn, back it off. And that's gonna help this cut all the way down. And again, you wanna use some cutting oil while you do this. I'm just gonna go till that bottom's out, back it all the way out, and we're gonna clean up these threads with that contact cleaner. And I'm just gonna hit that with some compressed air to help it dry out, or you can just give it a minute. Next, you wanna grab your insert. You'll notice there's a tab at the bottom. So you wanna take your installer tool, slide it through the insert and line up the tab in the slot. That's gonna drive it in. And you'll also notice that you have an adjuster. So this controls how far the insert is installed. So you can take a measurement again with your pick, see how far you want it to go down. Okay, we've got our threads that far in. So I'm gonna go that much above where this installs the threads. So about right there. 
And this is just a number two Allen we're using here. And then on the insert, you want to use some high strength thread lock. Just a little bit will do fine. You don't have to use this stuff, but I recommend it. And then all we need to do from here is thread the insert in. Now, really quick, I was kind of having a hard time getting this insert started. So I had to change the depth so it kind of pushes on the back as I start it. Usually you don't have to do that, but in this case I did. So I'm gonna keep threading that in until all of the threads are started. And that's just gonna help the very end of the insert. It's gonna keep it from separating out. So that's all started. Now I'm gonna go back and do my depth again. So I want the insert to be about that much deeper. Now we can just thread this in until it bottoms out. And once you're bottomed out, remove the tool. And what we need to do now, it's kind of hard to see down in there, but you're gonna have that little tab we showed you earlier. So we're gonna take this little punch that comes in the kit and we're gonna knock that tab out. You should be able to just push it off. If you need to use a little hammer and tap it, you can do that as well. And then you're gonna to wanna to make sure that we get the tab out. Then once you get the tab out, you wanna verify that the threads are good. I'm gonna thread a new bolt in place. This one threads in easy. And just to show you guys what the threads look like when they get pulled out, this is our old bolt and it has the threads on there. You can see that aluminum. And if I hold on to it, I can actually thread this off there. So if you ever see that with one of your bolts, you definitely need to get one of these inserts installed. So that's it for using the Tusk Thread Repair Kit. Again, you can get these individually or with multiple sizes. Just find those on our website. Click the link in the description below. We offer free shipping on orders over $75. So take advantage of that. And if you want to see more helpful content like this, subscribe to our channel. I'm Charles with Rocky Mountain ATVMC. Thanks for watching.